y'all. Coming to you from the International Headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was out of Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors just as they were finishing up this 55 Chevy. Let's get the camera turned around and take a quick look at it. Steve, pretty cool 55 there, right? It is, very sharp, very, very sharp. Yeah, I like the uh, color combo they went with it. It's like yeah. a candy or maroon. It's definitely a, it's definitely candy color. There's a lot right. of uh, metallic in it, which made it very, very hard to pick out a leather because sure. One way the the metallic looks light, and one way it looks dark. So, you know, and uh, this car belongs to Jody Woodruff out of uh, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. However and, you say that. However I'm you there say. In the northeast somewhere. Here in the country, we just say <laughs> however it comes out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, no, that is it is tough, you know. And then you know, red being red, uh, you know, you get too many shades of different, and then mm -hmm. it kind of looks funny. Too, yeah, but no, I think you did a good job matching it up and making it work. Well, thank you. Yeah, it was a little difficult. We've ordered quite a few different uh, samples, and man, every time I'd put something on there, it would turn like a brownish color or two reds. So this is the closest thing we got. In different angles, I mean, it looks like a perfect match. Right. You know, until the sun hits the metallic on the paint. But other than that, I think it blends in really nice. And we put the gray accent in it to match the gray on the outside of the car, also. So it turned out pretty cool. Yeah, I like that. Is that a rear seat speaker? It is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we got speakers in the back, and then the, I like uh, how you put the big V in there. It looks like a big V in the back too. That was something Tim come up with. Yeah. I, I said, here, you know, he, he I don't know, let him yeah. go. You know. Right. So yeah, it turned out really nice. Yeah, there's a lot of work in it. Did. Yeah, I think it turned out really cool. I like that that part of it. What else did you do? Well, you know, of course, it's got the you know four bucket seats, four uh, the full console in it, um, accent lighting. Man, you nailed that gray, like that accent color gray for yeah. the paint. Man, that's really that's close. Oh, uh, thank you. Yeah. yeah, and then when you turn the LED lights on, um, it really has got a good glow on it. You'll see, right. you know, you see that too. It's right. really, really clean. You know, nothing. I don't like gaudy. I just like everything to be nice and clean and neat looking. Of course, we did the trunk the same to match it. And it's a, uh, it's it's pretty cool. What color piping is that? Is that clear or is that chrome? It's chrome. Okay. Yeah, and then with chrome. Uh, pulls in the seat, you know, give it a little bit of dimension. Right on. But uh, it's that Clayton Machine Works metal that we've uh, cut, polished, drilled, tapped, the whole nine yards, bend it, shape it. It's got power seats in it now. It what does. seats did you use? I'm not sure. Jody supplied these seats, and I'm not sure exactly what he what he got them out of. Right. But yeah, they're they're it's, six weight power on both sides. It's got six switches in it. What's that for? It's got two power vent windows oh, wow. and then the four yeah. power windows i like vent windows and then they're power too. oh yeah how cool is that yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's really cool yeah it, it turned out and we took and covered the dash in leather and the, the accent the middle piece in, in the dash too it's covered in the gray oh yeah match the rest of it sure enough so yeah you know a lot of it's got like a piece of aluminum or something like yeah. that so he actually made a piece of thin aluminum that we took apart covered and put all back together yeah, which no. you know, blended everything. I like together. how you put the uh, the vintage air controls there. Mm -hmm. That they look like that could have came there. Yeah, you know. No, very nice job. What's what powers this thing? LS3. LS3, yeah. Yeah. Really cool. I mean, cleaned up, painted. Oh, all they did them. a really nice job up yeah. underneath here, right? And it's not all paneled up. That's not the way they did it. They just no. have it looking clean. I like that top that they used on mm -hmm. that LS3. I like them covers that they used. Yeah, that's one thing about it. They didn't use any panels to hide it. No, they, right? Yeah, they, that's what I'm saying. Clean. Yeah, no, they ran everything really clean, and I think they've got chrome where they need to have chrome. And yeah, no, I think it turned out really nice. And then add your interior to it. Yeah, it's got all uh, hard wired uh, air conditioning lines and everything, so it's it's you know polished, right? Chromed or whatever they are. But yeah, he's got, it's, he's got a lot of a lot of time and money in this car. And underneath is just as slick as the top of it is. So it's a, it's a really Really nice car. No, I think, and added to it, Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interior. So now the thing is cool as can be. <laughs> well, we try. I mean, we're not perfect, but we sure do try to, to please the customers. And I, I think he's, according to the pitching stuff, he's, he's pretty pleased with he it. He should be. Yeah. And when, as soon as you mentioned the name, Jody, as soon as he mentioned the name, I was like, oh, yeah, that dude does follow me all the time. So, no, congratulations, brother. I'm glad that uh, you got your car down here to get it done by Steve's, and now it's going to be on Scotty DTV. So, Steve, as always, I appreciate the time, brother. Uh, thank you, Scotty. I appreciate it very much. So there you go, from Steve Holcomb Pro Auto Custom Interiors, a very cool 1955 Chevy. Hope you all enjoyed it. See ya!
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.